to the Mr. Brad Morden Show. And we have a hot sauce review. We haven't had one for a while. But like I said a few weeks ago, a week or two, I got to go to Bucky's and I noticed some interesting products and hot sauces. So I wanted to pick up some. So this one is Bucky's Seven Pop Primo Pepper Hot Sauce. And it says fiery hot at the bottom. So, I was super interested because Seven Pop Primo hot sauces are, like, more rare than, like, your Carolina Reaper or Ghost Pepper type stuff. But it is a super hot. And on the ingredient label, Seven Pop Primo is pretty high on there. And then lower down, it also has jalapeno and habanero peppers in there, mm. too, as well as a bunch of other flavors. So, it should be hot. Actually, if you look at the bottle closely. And if you look at the bottle, you can see all the pepper grounds and remnants and things. So, hopefully. What's the first ingredient? The first ingredient is <coughs> tomatillos. This is a type of tomato, kind of. Kind of like a green type <coughs> cross of a tomato. It has some apple juice in there. Can um, you read the ingredients in order? Yes, tomatillos, apple juice. Um, seven pot primo pepper, onion, jalapenos, fresh garlic, water, black vinegar, kosher salt, garlic powder, habanero peppers, and yuzu vinegar. Oh. So, I mean, I don't know. A lot of interesting stuff in here. So, I'll try it. Let you know how hot it is. Let you know how the flavor is. If it's worth it. So I have a few other ones I picked up when I went to Bucky's. So here's a seven pot primo hot sauce. And I know there are some other ones out there. They're just not, like I said, not as common as you would like your Carolina Reaper. There's tons of them, ghost pepper, tons of them. Ones like that, jalapeno, habanero, tons of them. All right, well, here we go. It's cracked, it's open. What smells that? Um, like, uh, kinda, kinda, I don't smell the hot peppers. It does smell warm, but it, uh, I did more like a- uh, Salsa verde? Kinda salsy, a little bit of vinegar, a little bit of garlic, maybe more so of that, so. I think it's probably gonna taste pretty good, but the heat I'm wondering about. You know, it smells good. Got a big spoonful here. All right, so it's a tasty sauce. Definitely could put it on stuff. Could put it on like uh, Mexican food, tacos, enchilada, tortilla, um, but and probably other stuff too. But for having all those peppers in there, not as hot as one would expect. It's not super mild, but it's not as hot as I would expect. Um, for a seven pot primo advertised sauce. I'll go for another one and see. I mean, I'm taking big spoonfuls and I'm not that face. I mean, I know my heat tolerance is high, but. I mean, flavor's really nice. Definitely will be using the sauce. Um. For hot sauce, I give flavor like a 9 out of 10. Really? On the 7 Pop Primo Bucky's hot sauce. But heat value, I mean, I took two huge spoonfuls, a little disappointed. Mm. Um, I mean, that's good for the average person because the average person can buy this and put a little bit on, get the good flavor, and not get overly burnt off by this mm. because I would say heat and that's from what i took i would say only like five to six for an average person so i mean that's a decent burn for an average person but it's not 
Seven Pop Primo, like, Chili Head Hot, like, hot -er. I was at least expecting out of this maybe, like, seven or eight for an average person. But five or six, like, my kids could eat this. Really? I mean, and get, and get a decent burn, but, like, I wouldn't, like, be afraid to give this to most people. I mean, that's kind of my thought process. But flavor, again, like a nine. It's really good. I could put this on, like, a lot of my different things that I'd like to eat. So I'm definitely keeping this. I definitely will use this because of flavor. But like I said, when it's advertised as Fiery Hot and Seven Pop Primo, you probably think it's going to be a little bit hotter. But like I said, it's good for the consumers out there because you can eat this, get the good flavor, and not burn your face off like a chili head would do, like me usually. But I'm a little disappointed too. I was hoping. I mean, just on the heat wise, yeah. flavor's nice, but the heat wise, just not. Not like, what is advertised. Was the third ingredient being seven pot premium? Yeah, and it was up there. And habanero and habanero and, hab and jalapeno on there too. Well, I they guess just not a, as much. Did they just put a little slice in there? Maybe I don't know. It looks like there's a lot of unless this is garlic. It's hard to uh, tell if in the bottle if this is like a lot of garlic and seasoning. Or it looked like at first wow. source. Maybe not. So, so that's this. I do have some. Um, Carolina Reaper sauces, two interesting ones, try from Bucky's. I wonder if those will be hotter, so look forward to seeing those. Um, well, if you want a good flavor, but not super hot heat, this is one for you. Hope you have a good night, and we will see you next time on the Mr. Brad Warden Show.